Does V stand for victory or is I for intelligent? Stay tuned for V6s versus inline four cylinders. Today we're going to really focus on that 17 to 20 foot range boat and the difference between an inline four cylinder or three liter to a V6 or 4.3, 4.5 liter. We get a lot of people in the used boat market who are confused about the difference between the two and wonder what's right for them. On today's video, we're gonna cover the pros and cons of a four cylinder engine, the pros and cons of a V6 engine, and the ideal setup for a couple different boats so you can compare and figure out what's right for you. So an inline four cylinder inboard outboard engine is typically most common a three liter engine. And what that means is the displacement of the engine is three liters, which is a fair amount in a four cylinder. In today's modern cars, if you see four cylinder engines, you're often seeing ones with variants of anywhere from a liter or uh, up to 2.3 to 2.6 liters. So the marine version of a four cylinder engine is typically larger. Because of that, it is slightly heavier, more robust, has a lower RPM than today's modern cars, and all of things being equal, a very durable engine. Some of the pros on a four cylinder are, they're less expensive to purchase, they're less expensive to operate. You only have four spark plugs to change, smaller engine which takes less fuel to operate. It's much simpler to work on. It gives you a lot of space on either side because you have a narrower platform. And typically speaking, they will fit in a smaller boat uh, where a V6 will not. The downsides or cons to a four cylinder are because it's all in line, it tends to have slightly more vibration and slightly higher noise levels than a V6. It produces less power, so it doesn't produce the same torque or horsepower than a V6 will do. So sometimes if you want to do some heavy water sports like slalom skiing or some uh, wakeboarding in some variants of boat com and engine combinations, you'll find the power is a little light. And the other thing that is it's tends to be slightly less desirable in the resale market because people are often looking for V6s. So just be careful that you don't get a four cylinder engine in a boat that's a little too large because it will be hard for you to sell in the future. So the pros of a V6 engine are, it produces more power, it has a higher torque and horsepower rating so you can use it to get higher top end speeds and more low end torque and pull for water sports. So larger people trying to get out of the water at skis, bigger groups and boats or slightly larger boats, a V6 is definitely desirable. Also will be a bit smoother than a four cylinder because you have a V shape in the block or opposed cylinders. So they balance each other out when it's uh, producing power. It's also more desirable for a resale value. People are looking for that, particularly in the 18, 19, 20 foot range. The cons of a V6 engine are that it's typically more expensive to buy, particularly in the used market because there's higher demand for them. They are typically a little more expensive to operate because they have a larger displacement, usually 4.3 or 4.5 liters. So their fuel usage, all other things being equal, will be slightly higher. Of course, the maintenance is going to be a little bit higher because we're looking at replacing six spark plugs instead of four and all the things that go into it. It also is very tight in a lot of engine compartments. Being that it's a V engine, it's wide. And you'll see here that it has not much room for you to get in to change spark plugs, to drain the block. And we have some instances on some six cylinders where even to do some basic maintenance, the engine must be removed from the boat. Sometimes it's for a starter replacement or sometimes for an impeller job, but it really can make the servicing more expensive for you in the long run. So hopefully today you've understood the difference between a three liter or inline four cylinder engine and a 4.3 or 4.5 liter V6 engine. Both have their strengths. All other things being equal, if the price to purchase is similar, 
I would likely recommend that you go with the V6 engine. It will be smoother, quieter, and give you more power and easier for you to resell in the future. However, there are a lot of pros for the four-cylinder and it is a less expensive engine for you to operate and maintain in the long run. Check out this video here for a video on outboard engines versus inboard engines and check out the resources below for more boating tips. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.